Have you ever went outside where the people were at and there was people at where the people were supposed to be? Like there was actual people there. Like what do you, what? What is this? What is somebody's playing a prank or something? Like what is this? Why are there people there? If I go outside where the people are at, there shouldn't be people there. Being an introvert is like being allergic to air, except the air is people and it's everywhere and you can't escape, but it's not poisonous enough to kill you. It's just poisonous enough to just hurt you a little bit to the point where it's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. I don't want to breathe this anymore, but you have to stay there and breathe it and be forced to breathe it. You have little moments where it's not poisonous but that's not all the time. Most of the time, it's poisonous. But then you have like maybe like two times out of 10, maybe one time out of 10, maybe one day you wake up in a good mood, an extroverted mood. That day it's not poisonous. You ever had allergies and you went outside in the pollen and it was like, okay, this is fine. This is, I'm good. Like I don't even need nothing. I don't even need no medicine. I'm out here with no medicine. I'm good. And then you come back home at night or whenever you come back and your whole face is swollen, your eyes is itchy, your mouth itchy, everything's itchy. You can't breathe. You're breathing out your mouth that you don't even know what's going on anymore. You basically on your deathbed you just sitting there runny nose stuffy nose you can't move you can't breathe there's nothing you can do you're just stuck in a pit of just despair that same thing with social batteries social batteries like how much poison can you take before it starts affecting you it's like if you have if you're in minecraft and you start getting poison damage and it just keeps ticking that's your social battery when you're outside it just keeps ticking until you get to zero and then once you get to zero then your real health bar starts then that pops up once that runs out then you're gonna want to kill yourself you be outside you at a party an event whatever you talking to people you having a good time you good you know you're not a complete introvert you're you, you're all right you're, you're not doing too bad that battery run out and then everything stops it's like hold on okay yeah keep talking to me and you're gonna get hit i'm dead serious like stop talking to me right now i don't want to see you anymore and it could be your favorite person it don't matter it could be a girl it could be your mom it don't matter i want to go home and i need to sit in solitude sit in the darkness by myself i don't want to see nobody right now a human being to my eyes is like seeing the devil in human form dead serious stop trying to talk to me stop calling me stop texting me stop looking at me don't even perceive my general being don't even think i'm a per don't even think of me don't even don't perceive me in any type of way don't think about me don't put me in your thoughts dreams nightmares don't matter whatever it is don't put me in it i don't want to be a part of anything anymore until i recharge i need this sleep this sleep cycle needs to hit and once i wake up okay now you can talk to me again that's if my social battery didn't run out too much. You ever had your social battery run out too much? Then the next day, you still don't want to say nothing. You need like a whole week to recover. And then the next weekend, you're like, all right, I'm good again. And then you come around, everybody, everybody's like, oh, bro, where were you? Where were you? I was recharging. That's where I was at. Like, don't ask me, like, oh, where was I? I was recharging. I had to recharge. Like, don't be calling me, bro. Like, bro, it's good, bro. Like, no, don't call me. Don't call me. Don't text. No, you're not getting responded to. There's nothing worse than being a mix of an introvert and an extrovert because then you can't even really experience 100% of one world it's better to be 100 of one thing because it's like you're going to start you're going to get to that point where you want to talk and you don't want to talk and you want to talk you don't want to talk that's annoying when it's a mix of both you have those moments where it's like you're really lonely because you put yourself in a position where you're going to be alone because you had introverted moments you had that introverted moment or introverted day or week and you just you you pushed everybody away and now you by yourself and now you lonely now the extrovert demon come out he want to talk to people but you ain't got nobody to talk to because you don't pushed everybody away you ain't responding no text messages they they on like two days left on delivered you can't even really open it and be like hey what's up like no it's over you it's it's done it's gonna be weird so you just say ah i can't even respond to that it's over i can't do anything now what now you, you were supposed to call somebody like three days ago you ain't called them you stood them up you had a date or something you were supposed to see a friend or something you stood him up because you was just having a moment yeah, i gotta sit in darkness right now bro you just, just hear me out but you ain't giving nobody no heads up so now you sitting deep in the darkness by yourself even more lonely now you an extrovert energy now you really alone because being an extrovert is like you just want to talk to everybody now you can't talk to nobody you didn't you, you messed yourself up. Being an introvert and extrovert is like having split personalities. One of them come out and just ruin your life and then the other one comes in and is like, where is the people at? Like, what happened? Extrovert come out like, bro, what, what did you do? What happened? Why'd you kill everybody? Then the introvert come out like, bro, I didn't want to talk to nobody, bro. Okay, so why'd you leave him on red for like two days? Like, what are we supposed to do now? So I don't know. You got to figure that out. You the extrovert. You got to figure it out. I don't know what to do. You just better not let me come back because I'm going to make it worse again. Dead serious. I'm going to make it worse. And there's nothing you can do. The extrovert is like the rational one in this situation. He actually want to do stuff. He want to be out here. He want to smile and do this and happiness. Introvert just want to stay in inside and ruin his life all day like it's you got two demons inside you pause there's nothing you can do but being 100 of one thing if you're one of these people be happy because these people it, it don't matter how lonely they get they good it's like I'll, i'm glad i ain't with no people i'm glad i'm glad i don't got to be around no people i'm glad i don't got to be around no chatterboxes and yapathons I, i'm glad i don't got to be around these people because i'm just i don't want to talk to nobody i don't want to see nobody i don't want to hear nobody i don't want to perceive nobody y'all can stay on my phone on my timeline where i don't have to talk to you or make eye contact i don't want to do nothing 
of that. You ever talk to somebody in real life? If you're an introvert, you know, if you talk to somebody, it's like playing chess. You're not even, it feels like an active threat. It's like someone's threatening your life. Eye contact is the most intense thing ever. An introvert watching is probably not even looking me in my eyes right now. Dead serious. He's probably not even looking at me in my eyes. Let's be real. You ain't even looking at pause. Don't, don't look. Wait, don't look though. Now you're making it weird. What are you doing? Making eye contact feel like somebody's pulling your soul out your body and like playing with it. Pause. Like it's like somebody extracting your being from you. You can't do nothing. It's like they're just taking you. Wait, what? all right. I didn't, you just sitting there like, oh, I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. You can't even respond because you were just focusing on the fact that you don't want to speak to this person anymore. Now you done messed up the conversation. And that was probably the only conversation you had that week or that month. And now you go home, you thinking about it all day. It, now that's getting into social anxiety because social anxiety, that's that's more of a social anxiety thing. That's a whole nother video in itself. But still, being an introvert is, is definitely tied to social anxiety the same way loneliness is tied to depression. They're basically cousins. They're, they're cousins. They're one in the same. Two different sides of the same coin. You looking at extra outside like bro how are these people even doing this like how is this possible you're looking at everybody else like bro why is everybody so happy and smiling and what's funny there's nothing funny nothing's funny there's nothing to be smiling about right now i want to go home i don't want to be here anymore i don't want to be outside i don't want to see outside i don't want to see sunlight stop talking to me stop being outside when i go outside stop doing that this is my world i'm the main character like i don't want to talk to nobody stop calling me stop texting me stop doing all that